So I'll wait to skip you, Lee. We are nearing the end of the semester, which means that we are gonna take a step back from our chapters and do just a little bit of review to finish out the year. Um, so to do this, you're gonna have a couple of different review assignments. Today, we're gonna be focusing on reviewing nouns. Um, so if you still have your reference sheet, you'll wanna grab that. If not, you can always use pages 241 and 242 in your books, there is a reference section that has um, the charts listed for you. So you'll wanna find that if you don't have your reference sheet. For your assignment for today, what you're gonna be doing is declining two different nouns. Um, and so we're just gonna walk through, again, how to do that really quickly. This should be really easy review for you. Um, we've been doing this a long time now, so hopefully it won't take you too long. Um, so what you'll, you'll see when you open the assignment is there are two different charts. You'll do two different nouns. Um, so again, you're going to want to list the cases on the left side of the chart. Nominative, genitive, dative, accusative, and ablative. Um, and then go ahead and start your declension. So remember, the first step whenever you're dealing with nouns or anything else for that matter is to find the stem. And to do that, we always go to the second form. Um, so you're going to go to the second form of your noun, and that's going to tell you a lot of information about that noun. It's going to tell you what chart to use. It's going to tell you how to find the stem. Um, so we'll start there. So if you look at the second form of your noun, that ending that you see is going to give you all that information. If you see an AE, that means you have a first declension feminine noun, and that's the chart that you'll use for, those, for that noun. Um, if you see an I ending, that means you've got a second declension noun. And you'll have to look at the gender to tell you whether it's masculine or neuter. Um, so depending on what that is, if it's masculine, um, you'll use second declension masculine endings, the us, e, o, um, o. And then if you have a second declension neuter, you'll use those endings, which is um, e, o, um, o, etc. Um, the only other declension that we've done is third, um, third declension. So anytime you look at that second form of your noun and you have an IS ending, you are in third declension. And uh, again, you'll have to look at the gender to help you figure out which chart to use since we have two different third declension charts. Um, if it is either masculine or feminine, you will use the first third declension chart. And if it's neuter, you'll use the second one. There's a couple of things um, to remember about declining. If you have a first or second declension noun, um, you'll find your stem and then just add your endings as usual. Um, and then don't forget to translate. Um, and we'll talk about translation again here in just a minute. If you have a third declension noun, that nominative singular form is gonna be a little bit different. Um, so whenever you see the nominative singular, whatever the first form of the noun listed is, that's what goes in that blank. Um, so for third declension, if you remember, we have a star in the nominative singular for the ending. That means that there's no extra ending that you add, and whatever the first form of that noun is, that's what goes in the nominative singular form. Um, and then for the rest of those, you'll use the stem and the ending. To translate, again, don't forget to translate. We always translate, unless you're told otherwise. Um, so nominative, you don't have any extra words to add to the translation. Genitive uses of, dative uses two or four. Accusative, there's no extra words. And then ablative is by, with, or from. So you'll just do those extra words and then add the nouns meaning and there you have it. And then for the plural side, you'll just make it plural and add an S at the end. Um, and that is declining your nouns. So if you have any questions or need any help at all getting started, um, as always, just let me know and I'll be so happy to help you. And I think that is it for today. So wale te discipuli.